The Galaxy Note 4 is Samsung's latest, and in my opinion, greatest smartphone. The 5.7 inch phablet packs the specs on heavy, but it's not all great. So how good is it? Let's compare it with another powerful smartphone, the LG G3. I'm Ben with Hitech Triad, and let's go ahead and get started. Now unlike some other comparisons, I won't simply be telling you which phone is better than the other. That's up to you to decide. Instead, I've picked five reasons why each is better than the other. So let's not delay any longer and let's talk about five reasons why the Galaxy Note 4 is better than the LG G3. First, let's talk about the build. Now Samsung has never been famous for their build quality, and that didn't change earlier this year with their Galaxy S5. However, with the re release of their Galaxy Alpha, the company has certainly changed things around by adding a very nice looking and feeling metal band to the edges of the phone. Now you can read our full review of the Alpha or watch it here on YouTube. But thankfully, Samsung brought this terrific change to the Galaxy Note 4. The metal band adds a lot to the build quality of the device and really is an amazing addition. Even though the back is still unapologetically plastic, it still feels pretty good. The LG G3, however, is made entirely of plastic. That's not to say it feels bad, but it certainly doesn't feel quite as premium. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the camera. Now, the Galaxy Note 4 sports a 16 megapixel camera on the back with optical image stabilization. Quite simply, this is the best camera Samsung has ever put in one of their standard smartphones, and it really is very impressive. Now, even though things tend to be over sharpened and over saturated, shots still look absolutely amazing, and OIS makes a huge difference in video quality. Now the LG G3 is no slouch in the camera department either with a 13 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization, both in the hardware and in the software. But shots simply aren't as nice to look at. Sure they're more accurate, but they are just not as good in my opinion. And the Note 4 simply just beats it out. Now we took a few pictures with both the Note 4 and the G3 to compare the quality. Go ahead and check out the galleries linked in the description on our website to see the results for yourself. Next, let's talk about a pretty big one, the display. Now Samsung uses a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED panel in the Note 4 with a Quad HD resolution. Now LG has opted for a 5.5 inch IPS panel with the same resolution in the G3. Now both panels are absolutely stunning, but I have to give this one to the Note. Colors look much more vivid on its display and blacks are much deeper and that's thanks to the AMOLED technology. Now in this I'm disregarding the size but it is worth noting that the Note 4 has a larger display which results in a lower pixel density. Now Samsung's panel also gets much brighter and makes it much better for outdoor use. It also gets much dimmer which is great at night or just in a dark room. Now this section should be pretty short. The Note 4 has an S Pen, the G3 does not. Now the S Pen really adds a lot to the Note 4's experience, whether you're using it for writing or not. It is really nice and I re I'm really going to miss it when I say goodbye to this device. Next let's talk about something everyone cares about and that is their battery life. Now the Galaxy Note 4 sports a 3220mAh battery and that should give it a lot of power but in my experience it simply doesn't. Usually I get through the day with about 35% give or take when I go to bed. Certainly that is not bad at all but it's not that amazing. The G3 usually gets me through a day, but is already on the charger when I head to sleep. It has a 3000 milliamp hour battery, which is certainly enough to get through the day, but even with moderate use, it won't last all day. Now the Note 4 even has some impressive power saving modes that can get you a few hours more to even a few days more out of your battery. Both are removable, however, which makes this a pretty close call, but of course I do have to give it to the Note since it just lasts longer. So that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. If you guys want to see 5 reasons why the LG G3 is better than the Galaxy Note 4, check out the first link down in the description for that. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel for our video review of the Galaxy Note 4 which is coming soon. If you want to know more about either phone, our reviews are both linked down below on our website itechtriad.com. Thanks for watching this video guys and we will catch you in the next one.